Hello viewers and welcome back to Space Hulk with me, Pew Pew Choo Choo. We still have about uh, five missions to finish up, so let us uh, begin with the next mission. The Grail is ours, and though Brother Lorenzo and Goriel disappear during the fighting, we will protect that for which we have spilt our blood. You must lead Brother Calistarius and the remnants of Squad Lorenzo back toward the main force of the First Company. May the angel grant you the strength to prevail. Okay, so it looks like our mission is um, is really just going to be one of those other ones where we exit the map. Um, this time, from the looks of it, we're just going to have to uh, cover a lot more uh, flanks and stuff like that to really break through here. So with that said, let's uh, let's really see what happens. Okay, so let's deploy. Uh, right around here, it looks like we can only deploy a five-man squad. So let's go with uh, something like that, I suppose. No. Get the flamer up first, then followed up by the bolters. Have the guy with the melee weapon be la or second last, and keep the librarian back. And um, I shall not fail. Really proceed like that. So, okay, this map is, uh, there's a nice central plaza that's a little risky to go into. Um, but the side, the sides next to this central portion has a lot of, has, uh, these gene sealer spawns. So we want to get into this room right here. Uh, what I think we can, uh, we can do is that instead of going directly forward, let's get our people to move, uh, to the side. Advance, brothers. With all due haste. And let's start just uh, moving up from the side and really going from there. So we'll see how this works. Um, hmm. Yeah, like you see below the map, there's like all of these nice spacious hallways. And apparently we, we have to fight inside some of the worst places everywhere. Uh, you know what these people should do? They should all stand on this small bridge right here and try to collapse it with their weight, and then they'd be, they'd be like, "Fine." But no, we stick to uh, we had to stick to these hallways. Moving to target coordinates. Apparently, we only actually have to get the guy with the artifact into the uh, the victory point lo location. So, with that said, I mean all the other people are ever more expendable. So we'll just see how this works. I mean, we have AOE weapons to the front and to the back. And uh, what we should be able to do inside these narrow corridors is that the librarian can just continually seal off the uh, the back portions as he goes along. Target. And with that said, I mean, all we really have to do is, uh, is flame the people inside the back. So we'll see how this works. Okay, so now there appears to be a group uh, right there, so we'll actually get the librarian to turn around and uh, do a little bit of overwatch. Nothing appears to be spawning inside this hallway, so we'll get the flamer and Clear the, uh, the other people to move up. I think I'll actually switch our lineup uh, as soon as we reach this little junction point and get the, uh, the guy with the bear claws to switch places with the librarian just for uh, the next little bit. Initiating attack protocol. Ah, oh, I see. They're also being sealed up by the uh, malfunctioning doors. Hmm. Want to take out this person? So let's uh, try to take out this guy. There we drive go, so uh, back. drive that guy down. It looks like the door over here isn't actually one of the ones that malfunction. so uh, with that said, I think I'll get the librarian just to uh, slowly come up here. And over here, you know, they probably yes, can't brother. reach us, so I think I'll get the column to just move forward like that. Clear a path. Guy with the bear claws, go and uh, stand on the side. 
And we'll just try to move the uh, the artifact column as far forward as possible, and we'll end the turn like that. So, I mean, now that we know the basics of the game, we can move a little faster. Um... Obstruction removed. Hmm. Okay, so they're trying to funnel them. Yeah, they're going to funnel themselves into us either way. So long as we stay outside of this uh, middle zone, we should be uh, should be good for now. Now let's see. Okay, well we do have a little problem near the rear. So what I think I'll do is that I'll use the uh, the force barrier over here on the door. I could do an Overwatch, but then that slow us down. And then with my points, I think I'll get the Flamer to first and foremost move up. And I'm going to use the Flamer twice to burn uh, through all of these. So he'll move up. Heavy Flamer, use once, burn that hallway. And we'll get him to use it again, burning uh, this little place. So that'll hold back uh, all of those for now, and in, in the Moving meantime, um, we should, we'll move these people up, and the next turn we'll be able to uh, really drive the offensive. Objective locked. Oh crap, didn't mean to do that, I want him to, uh... Nope. Okay, we'll just leave it at that, it doesn't look like the guy with the bear claws can, uh... Pass him, but that's fine. Okay. Ooh, they formed a nice little column right there. We could try to burn on that. I will end. I actually really like the design of this level. You're trying to get back here, but then again, uh, all, the majority of the spawns are located inside that area. It's rather nice. Clear a path. Okay, so now we can do a little switch up here. So we'll get uh, Mr. Bear Claws to take his place here. Let's do a little uh, turn. If we burn all of these people, it killed them a lot more efficiently than anything, really. But that might slow us down by a little bit. So what I'll do is that I'll get the uh, I'll get a column assembly yes, here for movement. And what I want to do right now is I want to get the uh, the treasure, the uh, the artifact in the middle, and I want to get the rest of the people inside the back. Now, hmm, could use the uh, the magic, the psi one once more. Doesn't look like we can reach over here, so I think I'll uh, keep a psychic blockade up over here, and we will um, just go with that. Buy us more time. I mean, the guy with the bear claws will probably die, uh, just simply due to the nature of those melee weapons. They're not really that effective, except for the person with the shield. He is. Multiple he is targets really effective. acquired. And yeah, this is why we want to get the flamer in the uh, the the head of the column, because this thing with its uh, three charges left should be able to. Uh, let's see if he does a turn. Like that. What I'll get him to do is that I'll get the uh, the the librarian to convert his points back into uh, or convert his point of uh, psi into control points. That'll give us one flame attack. And there we go. That clears that area. We can finally move forward once again. Um, there appears to be a spawn happening right inside this location, so I'll get the, uh, the Librarian to do Stay Overwatch. Alert, and we'll pull back slightly over here for a guard. And, uh, well, we may have to sacrifice the Librarian right here, but it should be, uh, should be alright. No spawns up here, so so long as the, uh, the, AI, the AI group... Um, facing the uh, the guy with the bear claws dies or is kept busy. Uh, things should be all right. The machine spirit died. Oh, he gets fire. one. Does he get two? Drive them back. Oh, he does actually. What is his dice rolls? Uh, 
He gets a plus one to these close assaults. I'm pretty sure the shield person gets two simply because he has both the uh, the hammer as well as a shield. So yeah, on a on a dice with a um, typically playing with like a, a six sided dice is what I would imagine. Uh, having those rolls do come quite in handy. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Want to keep using that flamer and really pushing up with it. So I'll move the I'll, I'll move uh, brother Zale up there. Over here, can we cast a um, a ion a psychic storm over there? Probably not. Can we do a force barrier? No. Okay. Well, instead of doing that, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a force barrier right there. Or no, 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 no. Convert our points into CP. Get him to do Overwatch. Over here, we'll try to brawl out this guy. See what happens. I. Yikes. That is going to be a major problem. Now, if we, uh. Moving to target coordinates. Hmm. It's alright, though, because uh, either way, if we do lose him, we can continue progressing up here. Try to. I'll do another burn. That'll get rid of them, and then I guess we'll uh, continue moving our guys moving forward. Out. Librarian is definitely going to, um, he is definitely going to die this uh, this turn. Now I'm seeing uh, what we can do to just kind of help him out. Um, like the best thing I can think of is to back him up into a corner, and maybe that'll... Uh, no. Like, either way, he's kind of cornered over here. He's by himself. The guy with the bear claws died. Um, we'll just get him to do an overwatch, I guess. I mean, there's really uh, nothing we can do for him there. So, yeah. Or no, we'll put him in guard mode so uh, he'll reroll the dice when, uh, when he gets attacked by those things, uh, making him potentially live another turn. Yeah, they're gonna go in for another attack now. Probably gonna kill him. He does have that battle axe though. Well, oh, he's actually keeping him at bay for now. Oh wow, some really good dice rolls here, but no. Hmm, this guy's really buff. Got really, really lucky there. Oh, this is probably going to be a back attack, so this is probably going to kill him. Death demands vengeance. Oh, wow. He's ripping things apart over there. They approach. Yeah, that is going to be a that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge fighting all of those. Okay, let's see what we can do. So, inside this column, uh, we have actually a lot of CP, so what I think I'll do is I'll try to burn the uh, the rear of all of this. So let's move, get that flamer set up, and let's we'll see uh, just how much of this we can set on fire. So if we, uh, if we get the flamethrower and we puff it here, that'll block out the hallway for now, so let's do that. Okay, so that'll keep him at bay for now. We're going to get the uh, the flamer to take a step forward, and the reason that we're doing that is because we we only have to get this uh, the guy with the relic out. So I mean, clear a path. At this point, I think it'd be easier just to sacrifice him than uh, do anything else. With all the We'll just do that, so that'll seal off this area, and it, this should actually get the or give our librarian quite a good chance for survival. Because what he can do is uh, he'll do Overwatch. He should be able to eliminate anything coming out of that hallway, and that'll actually save our main group. And he should be able to just constantly keep that group behind him at bay, uh, just using his psychic. Multiple powers. targets acquired. Yeah, that should work. My main issue is down here inside this column. This area is a death trap. Yikes, that's a lot too. 
even more blips inside the back. It's a horde right there. Okay, so, um, let's see, Psychic Barrier keeps those guys back. He can move up to the right. And do a watch. There we go, like that. Over here, um, you know, there's not really much we can do for him. We'll get him to move forward, uh, simply because. Let's see. Um, he's not going to be able to attack him um, either way. I mean, we could replay. We could uh, bring him back and use his fist punch thing. But I think I'll put him in guard. So that'll, that'll try to keep him alive. And over here... Um, I'll get the I'll, I'll get Deno to take a few pot shots. I'll actually uh, move him back next turn, so then we can get the other uh, Terminator up forward. But right now we really have to sacrifice a few things. Really see how this goes, how the AI wants to play this out. My bolter is jammed. Oh, uh, great timing. Really good overwatch right here, but we're still, uh, right now I'm just kind of thinking of how we can deal with the problem up top. So hopefully, oh no, we're still not in range to do the, uh, the AoE attack from the librarian over here. Okay, well in that case, uh, how should we proceed right here? I mean, what I think I'll do, yeah, because there's at least, I, I think there would be six over here. Uh, we can back up. Moving. Get him to unjam his gun. Um, let's see. Move back one more. And he'll move back too. Let's get him to fire one more. There we go. So, I mean, I think the best option here would be to do like an overwatch like that. Uh, over here turn around and then we'll do a overwatch like that and then we can end the turn so yikes really uh, really getting intense now down to three people my weapon is jammed yeah he's definitely going to go down oh maybe not he does have that axe after all Looks like he's holding, so uh, that actually that'll that person will actually no block the, rest of the column. Now it's really down to our terminators over here to just take out this entire column. My bolter is jammed. You know, come to think of it, playing as the gene sealers, you can just pile people through this little uh, area, and it's really down to those flamethrower rounds and those uh, psi storms to really get you through this area. Okay. Obstruction removed. See what we can do here. Let's actually just move back. Ah, uh, and we're actually out of psi energy too. So, uh, Overwatch again, over here. Yeah, this hallway. This is going to be our major the problem. My I think what we'll do is that we'll just try to kill these things off with uh, some some rounds and really see uh, see how we can go past this. Securing position. 
I really hope that we could just uh, kind of butcher these guys down with the uh, with the two guns that we have here. Squad is broken. Oh no, I think that's the end of the game. Yeah, the artifact's still there, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to uh, kill them all now and push forward at the same time. No. Yeah, that's definitely game over. My bolter has failed. Yep. Weapon box. Tons of jams. All right. Well, I think I'll actually leave the. Uh, oh. We may have a chance at this if he is able to hold off all of these. A righteous kill. Hmm. No, there's definitely not going to be any chance of uh, being able to hold off th this many people. So I think I'll end the let's play actually here. I mean, if you guys enjoyed the game, yeah, you can buy it yourself. I mean, this is a kind of a mixed title, right? Some people do enjoy it. Some people feel like it's a little content short uh, for what it's worth. And uh, well, it's really dependent on uh, the person playing it, right? So far, I've had a lot of fun with the campaign and I feel like we're getting into the some of the more advanced missions now. Um, I'll be back. We may check out the multiplayer. Uh, either as a space marine or as a um, as a gene seller sometime later on but uh, for the moment being I think I'll let's end the let's play here just simply because uh, well we've already kind of covered the basis for the game all that is really next is a few uh, more challenging and some more uh, situational missions right so if you guys uh, have enjoyed this let's play I will be, um, well, subscribe of course, I will, I will be doing a few other strategy game let's plays, some turn based, some not turn based, and uh, we may actually check out the Warhammer 40k game coming from uh, Matrix Games slash Slytherin in the future whenever they have a previewable build for that. So I'll see you guys, uh, well, then I suppose we're inside one of our other let's plays, such as uh, our let's play of Europa Universalis 4. Till then, bye bye.